Bitcoin is obviously a hold that you need to consider for your portfolio for the long term. But aside from that, there are two major altcoins that I want to talk to you about. And I'm not talking about Ethereum, which is one of the obvious choices. OK, none of this is financial advice, by the way. Please do your own research. All right. And do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back, back with another video. And I want to talk to you about Matic and Cardano. OK, because these two altcoins have been on my radar for a long time. I do own some Matic. I have owned some Cardano, but I am holding out for a much better entry at the moment. OK, that could be a big mistake or it could be a very good strategy. OK, but right now I want to talk to you about Cardano and Matic and explain to you why I think that these are definitely altcoins that are going to have a massive future in the cryptocurrency space. So starting with Cardano. We can obviously see that Cardano has had some major strength, um, probably being the, the, the top performer um, alongside Matic, but one of the top performers in this bull run. Uh, but right now, I feel like the chart is looking very strong. Um, over the past couple of days, I have been watching it over this weekend. All right, guys. Now, we saw this massive dip. I was fortunate enough to buy that dip and take some profit okay on the bounce okay because those oversold bounces are always a good opportunity to make some good fast profits okay guys and me being a trader at heart i saw that opportunity and i took it, it actually happened right before my eyes okay so i was very fortunate to be able to see that and kind of trade that opportunity but going back to the chart anyway what we can see is that cardano has been holding up but right now, there is some uncertainty in terms of price action, okay? Um, I had this drawn out differently just yesterday because I believed it would have been a rising wedge that did break bullish initially. If we move that like that and just readjust uh, some of these lines, this would have been the wedge that I was looking at. Uh, those, support, it, it, those support lines, it did kind of break down and come back into the triangle at the time but let's just adjust that so this is what i was looking at originally okay guys and i believe we're getting a bullish break outside of this uh, uh rising wedge ascending wedge um but it actually faked out okay it came up now these are bearish patterns but when they do break bullish a lot of the time they break super bullish okay and um, yeah, it broke out and then it came back down into the triangle. So I had to exit my trade and take a very small uh, loss there because it's a breakout trade. OK, and uh, obviously it comes back into the triangle. You have to kind of uh, rethink your strategy on that. But these would have been the targets up here. OK, and they are still targets in terms of uh, support and resistance. OK, but right now we're looking at the bearish scenario, very short term bearish scenario. All right. And um, basically, uh, you can see that I readjusted some of the lines on here. So I'm just going to readjust those like that. And uh, it's still a rising wedge. But if we, if, if I show you exactly how I came to the next target, right, which is down here at around $1.13 uh, approximately. Okay, all I do is I draw a line from the bottom of the wedge to the top of the wedge. Okay. And I put it at the breakout uh, or the breakdown out of that. OK, now, even if we were to adjust this. OK, and do it like that. OK, uh, it is still a bearish pattern. OK, so it doesn't really matter which way you draw it at this point. But you would see that I get the same target from the bottom to the top over here. And I draw it like that approximately okay we get the same target either way it's done okay guys so that's how it comes to this target down here that i would be looking at for the next entry or potential support for cardano so yeah i mean basically uh, in the long term I, I think that's only a short term move okay but in the long term i think there's huge potential for cardano uh, any of you that have been following the channel know that i like to zoom out on these charts OK, and for me, this just looks like a large kind of accumulation, uptrend in accumulation phase. OK, guys, it's really the first major move, in my opinion, that's happened out of Cardano. OK, uh, and this is the USDT chart. Of course, it might look uh, a lot different um, if you compare the price action to the Bitcoin or Ethereum chart. 
But right now we are on the USDT chart and that's what I prefer to trade. I did used to trade more the BTC charts, but um, I kind of changed that because at the end of the day, uh, you can kind of gauge the market a little bit easier um, in comparison with Bitcoin's price action to the USDT pairs price action. Okay, so right now Bitcoin obviously is falling, so that that's bringing the rest of the altcoins down as well. So uh, in the short term, I think that yes, we do have some downside for that. But like I said, this looks like a big sideways accumulation phase. And as long as we are within this range, um, I feel like it's still pretty bullish on Cardano. If we do begin to fall below this level and get some strong closes outside of that level, I would expect that we could go down a lot further. Now we do have a line of support right here at about a dollar. Okay guys, and then the next line of support is all the way down here about 40 cents, give or take. But um, yeah, I think there is still a possibility that we could fall down there. Okay, and that just depends on the Bitcoin scenario. If it falls into a bear market, we're gonna be looking at a longer uh, recovery, uh, a, a longer road to recovery for Cardano. Bitcoin and every other altcoin really uh, to be to be fair all right guys so basically that's what I'm looking at for Cardano if we can get a bounce off this if we do get a bounce off this wedge then obviously that would invalidate this bearish scenario okay but and, and uh, we may not see it even come down to this level and it could still get a breakout of this ascending wedge okay and then that would be super bullish all right, guys, and then we will be looking at the continuation of the bull run for Cardano, in my opinion. And with Cardano having lots of things going for it uh, right now, uh, the Alonzo uh, smart contracts, uh, that's going to get a lot of interest. And um, we can compare that with the price action to Matic as well. We see Matic have a huge run up. Um, there's been a lot of people building on Matic. And of course, when it comes to gas fees and stuff like that, People like to stock up on these products, okay, when they are building on them because, you know, the price action may go up a lot and um, it does make sense to get, to, to just hold it while it's cheap. Cardano is setting itself up to be a very strong rival for Ethereum and a lot of people would agree with that as well. Okay, guys, so uh, with everything that's coming for Cardano, uh, I'm still super bullish on Cardano and I do want to be a long-term holder on this, okay, guys? right about now it's not extremely wise to throw everything into it at the moment i think it's better to average down if you are averaging down me i am a little bit of a risk taker so in terms of not having a position in cardano at the moment um i'm just literally waiting for bear entries okay for a long-term hold okay because there is so much uncertainty in this market in terms of direction i would much rather buy a lot cheaper or buy more expensive with a confirmed uh, break out to the upside okay so that's just me um not everyone's strategy let me know what your strategy is in the comments okay guys and like i said do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already moving on to matic okay so matic is another one like i said before um the smart contracts uh, people have been building on matic and i think that matic has had a massive uh, uh a massive influx of people uh, and new fans uh, to the polygon network and they are really a great bunch of developers. They've proved that. Uh, they've shown that they can uh, integrate and um, improve Ethereum. Okay, because they're not out to destroy or rival Ethereum. Although people may look at it like that. But they're like everything they're doing is basically improving uh, the use case of Ethereum as well, in my opinion. All right, guys, so Matic, in terms of a correction, it has had a very deep correction. It got a much stronger bounce than Cardano uh, on, on the previous dip. All right, guys, and that goes to show, um, you know, the, the, the amount of FOMO and the, um, the, 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 the interest in Matic at the moment. Okay, guys, but well, obviously the bigger the move, the bigger the sell-off at the end of the day. And uh, that was a really big bounce. So all that unnatural price action, all that FOMO has literally been taken away. Now it's diluted out of the market. Okay, so this is probably a much better, uh, this is probably a much better time to buy Matic, in my opinion. The MACD looks like it wants to do put a bullish cross in. Let's just have a look at that more clearly. It looks like it has actually crossed now as well. Let's just... Uh, make that more visible okay for those of you that can't see that 
it does look like it yeah it has actually crossed okay so could get some momentum to the upside for matic uh according to the macd all right guys but it's not guaranteed there is still some room that it can go down on the rsi and these things do like to trick you sometimes they will cross and then cross back down all right guys but um yeah it'll be interesting to see how that plays out but at the end of the day it's at the mercy of bitcoin all right but bitcoin is actually holding this level pretty well the support if it does fall through now that's obviously not going to be good for matic and the rest of the altcoins like i said um but yeah right now uh, matic has a lot going for it and you know the main indicator for this is community as well all right guys the chart has uh, held up pretty well as opposed to some of the other old coins we've seen them fall all the way back down okay matic has been holding up pretty well and i mean people are not selling matic people are or, or you know a lot of people are not selling matic i mean this would suggest otherwise but people want to hold on to their matic and um even on the channel i've been covering a lot of matic projects that are building on top of matic all right guys so um yeah i believe that matic is uh, uh definitely um gonna see some more upside uh, not financial advice okay do your own research but um it just reminds me of the early days of the binance smart chain all right guys it's not fully matured yet but there are some really cool apps and and there's a lot of good development going on on, on the matic network and there's a lot of poly this and poly that projects coming out okay guys so obviously they're all building around the whole polygon um, branding type of theme and of course you know that helps for you know search engine optimization there's obviously a reason why people do it all right guys but um i think matic is one you need to keep your eye on as well as cardano in terms of outpacing the market and getting that major leg to the upside okay if i had to choose just one project okay to hold all right guys it probably would be cardano and going back to the fact that just like i said i mean it looks like a big accumulation phase in my opinion i mean yes it went up there if we didn't have this little spike to the upside okay i'll just look at that like it was a big sideways chart and um it will be the first move or the first wave before the big free wave and then maybe even a five wave after that some would disagree and say that you know um this was the free wave and now we're looking for the five wave all right but um I'm not a master at Elliott Wave Theory or anything like that. But that's just how I would look at it without any other influence. Okay, guys? So you will have to let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think Cardano or Matic or do you think both? Okay, guys? And BTC and Ethereum obviously are the obvious choices, guys. So let's stick to the Cardano and Matic and see uh, what we can expect um, out of the price action for these. I'm not one for price predictions, but I think in terms of market cap, it's more likely that Cardano um or, or matic can get a 10 another 10x out of it in this bull run than bitcoin okay guys despite um you know some of the outlandish predictions out there now bitcoin obviously is getting a lot of 100k to 300k price predictions i think it's achievable at the end of the day but it is more likely um in terms of the the 300 000, uh, price prediction by the end of the year for bitcoin i think it's more likely that you would get a 10x out of cardano or matic than you would out of bitcoin um throughout the rest of this year 2021 so guys let me know what you think uh, like the video as well that also helps with the algorithm that is about it for now guys remember to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video